All right, welcome back to the game. We're getting into the part where everybody starts coming together. The comet has disrupted the heavens. I need to do something. I must hurry. Whoa, whoops, heaven forbid. <clears throat> yeah, so later on we'll get to... I think we go back to Ashley, actually. Follow Ashley around for a little bit, but then eventually everybody kind of comes together. Town of Maria. <laughs> oh, this part is really nostalgic for me. I missed this game. I haven't played it in so long. Oh, my eyes. Why'd you open the shades? Ah. Oh, my eyes. Too bright. Who opened the curtains? <laughs> I was close. <laughs> I haven't actually played this game that much. I was just making a joke. It's me, Sleepyhead. It's me. Marina. Okay. Random person I get to name. Oh, it's only you, Marina. Morning. I know you're on leave, but you can't sleep all day. Huh. I wish. I'm confined to quarters, not on leave. Don't you get it? Well, from here, I don't see any difference. Anyway, you have visitors. Visitors? Really? Me? I wonder who it is. It's kids. Yeah, I'm gonna be... There we go. I'm finding a bunch of stuff now. Yeah, if you look in, like, barrels, mostly. What's the... Res apple. What is res? Let's see, we've got strength. Response, is that speed? I don't know, I'm gonna hang on to all the apples. Um, until I get to everybody, I think... I think response is speed. In this. So, um, I'm gonna want that. A oh, sorcery apple, that'll go to the girl, to Lilka. Um, yeah, I'm going to save all the apples until I get everybody to see who needs what. You think Marina will get mad at me if I climb onto the roof? I don't know, but you're not giving me the option to, so I guess we're not going. What's in here? Storeroom? Give me bread. Give me bread. No bread? Okay. I'm going to leave then. Okay. Okay, Vitality Apple. That's good. Don't keep your friends waiting. Hurry up and go. Hello. Good morning, Ashley. A friend is waiting at the front. This guy has friends. Oh, wow. Thanks. Very nice of you, Baker's wife. Thanks for believing in me or whatever. Hello. Hey, dude. What's up? Thanks for helping me out the other day. Oh yeah, at the Weathered Ruins. How have you been, Tony? Excellent, as you can see. But I wouldn't be if you hadn't rescued me, dude. Um... Hi, I'm Ashley. Nice to meet you. These are two friends of mine. Very pleased to meet you. Scott. Thank you for helping our dear friend the other day. In my humble opinion, you wouldn't se seem to be a very good person. You would seem to be a very good person. Wow, I was almost like, what you say me, boy? <laughs> I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. <clears throat> Hello. Tim. We get him as a party member later, I think. The three of us hang out together because we're all orphans. We're so glad that our dear friend Tony is alright. Thank you, Ashley. We came here to thank you and to ask you a favor. A favor? Yeah, helping people is your job, right? Well, we need your help. We can't do this on our own. Okay, tell me what's going on. We need you to catch a cat. Actually, a kitten. Oh, I remember this. Uh, this is embarrassing, but this kitten made off with a treasure of ours. It's the kitten up there on the roof. In my humble opinion, it looks bad to have this happen to us. We find ourselves unable to remedy the situation as the kitten is on a roof. 
frightened by our chasing it, the kitten refuses to descend. I'm sorry to bother you, but can you do something? You gotta, you gotta help us, dude. Our pride is at stake here. All right, well, before I do that, I'm gonna go search around town. There's nothing I can really buy right now, and I don't really want to until we get everybody else. Uh, I, I might check out the, uh... I might check out, like, the weapon shops and stuff, because I might be able to buy stuff for just Ashley. But later on, I definitely want to... Um... Later on, I definitely want to just wait until... To go to, like, the magic shops and stuff, I want to wait until I have everybody. I could go to the arm shop and upgrade the arm, too, because I'm going to end up doing that anyway. Alright, I don't think there's anything in this inn. I'm just kind of looking around, making sure we get all the items and stuff. Because we already got quite a few apples, which those apples are so good. They help out so much if you actually happen to find a bunch of them and keep them around. Like, a famous Merc once shopped here, or so they say. So this is the place for items. Alright. Because I can get the hammer shot here. Equip it now. I'll buy these, because I know they're going to be better than what they have once I get them. So, and I already equipped all of my stuff, which I could sell, but... And then what do we have here? Personal skills are cool, so don't put it off. Challenge yourself. Oh, these are the personal... Okay, so, look at this. So, like, cuts FP use, um, which will be good for um, Lilka... Ups HP. I think that ups the HP that you get for leveling up. So that kind of stuff, the up stuff, is going to be the most important early on. Because the more you do that stuff early, the faster your stats go up and the better it is. I think edit HP for going up levels, edit parameters when force level goes up, so not that one. <clears throat> ups res when near death. Ups FP when near death. Ups damage from physical attacks. Cuts damage from physical attacks. Yeah, so the one we really want to do first... Is... Wait, restores HP when going up levels. That'll be a good one. I'm looking at to see if there's anything else when going up levels. Restore HP when force level goes up. Ups parameters when force level goes up. Hmm. That just restores HP when going up levels. But we want to do this one first because that's going to up our HP when we go up a level. So if we max that out first, that'll maximize the um the hp that we get for each level up um as quick as possible and then there will be other stuff for other characters that will prioritize depending on the character you can get like resistance to um resistance to elements and stuff i don't really need to talk to people nobody's gonna give me any items the only items we can really find are in like these barrels and stuff but there's nothing in that one nothing around here okay yeah so those skills are very very important and very very useful if you know how to do it correctly but definitely upping the hp is going to be the one that we do first for everybody because the earlier that gets done, the more of a difference that it makes. If that makes sense. Gimmel coin. Uh, I don't need to go in deep with the lore. There is a part where I kind of went deep into the lore in the previous game. But that's because like that's all there was to do there. But we don't need to do that this time. 10 gallon hat okay that's another equipment for ashley i'm pretty sure gear body there we go i could also sell my old gear 
arm modifications. I don't need to read it. That's just like when you upgrade your arm, you upgrade your accuracy, and then it's power, and then you can upgrade how many bullets it holds. Like, but I don't know that we'll need to do all of that, you know. And I already know how to do all of that, so I'll just show it to you. Now let's turn this around here, make sure I'm not missing any doors or anything. I don't think I am. And this is the Merc Station, which I don't need to go to yet. Alright, so let's go get this cat. There's no arm shop here? Oh, there is an arm shop. There's the arm shop. Let's go into the arm shop. Barrel? No? Okay. I have no luck with women, but I'm a pro at fixing arms. Let me see yours. Alright. Arm upgrade. What part do you want to upgrade? Yeah, so we can do the tack power, hit hit percentage, and the bullets. So let's do hit percentage first. I'm just going to... Okay, so I can't upgrade it anymore. But I'd rather they be able to hit before I make them hit with more accuracy. Because they're doing good damage right now. So I don't need to do that, but um, I also want to go sell. Let me go sell that old stuff real quick. Sell. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Yeah, so it's not enough to buy another upgrade. But it's still a little bit more. And what I'll do is, like, while I'm... If I need to grind at all, I'll do it as I'm, like, editing. So we need to get up on the roofs, which is why we need this ladder here. I'll climb to the roof here. But this is really hard, because it really makes you learn how to run efficiently. Meow. And it... Of course, it starts me off at some weird... Oh, dang it. Because, see, that happens because of the angles. And then i got to start all over. Yep. Yeah, so... This is really... It's tough, but... I'll get it fairly quickly. Climb to the roof here. Then the cat starts over. I should probably turn it this way would be more efficient. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm fixing a hole in the roof. My old lady hates it, but it's handy to be able to come and go through the roof, I think. Okay. Then the cat jumps across. But I think if I get him to move, well, that looks fun. How about Sonny? Want me to help you catch that cat? Yes, please help me. <laughs> Chase that cat this way again. I have a secret weapon. This is no time to be fixing a roof. All right. So now if I send the cat this way, he'll block it off and get it in the hole. So... Oh, but I gotta go all the way around again. Alright. But hey, I, I was keeping up pretty good. I'm a lot better at running in this game than I used to be. It helps that I ran a lot in the first game. Especially when, like, grinding. I kind of... Kind of challenged myself to do it correctly. So, that really helped. Just going across. Get him. Meow, screech. Plop. Oh. Yeah, gotcha. Did you see that? Did you witness my amazing skill and timing? The cat must be under here. If this is what you want help with, count me in. Alright, so I can just jump down here and get the cat. Yeah, that's right. Come here. Gotcha. All right, now be a good kitty. Got that mischievous kitten. This must be the treasure that the kitten took. I forget what it is. I think it's like a 
a rune or something that Tim uses. Wow, what a great... That's great, dude. Muchas gracias. I'm so glad. In my humble opinion, we have successfully preserved our honor. This is it, right? I got it back. Ah, oh, what the heck? Here, you can have it. It's a matter of principle. I have it back, so I'm happy. Now I'm giving it to you as a token of my gratitude for getting it back. Take it. Oh, crest cap. That's good. Oh, one more thing. Please accept this from me. This is a medium. It supposedly contains the power of a guardian. Before she died, Mom gave this to me as a good luck charm. I want you to have it, Ashley. Are you sure? This must be very special to you. It's okay, because I have another one. Please take it as a token of our gratitude for saving Tony. Alright, thank you, Tim. Grudiev. Equipping characters... Equipping characters with a medium boosts their parameters. Each medium has its own custom command, a special battle command. Custom command is added to your battle commands and will come in handy. One more thing, Mom said that the medium also has another type of power, but I can't remember what it was, sorry. That's okay, Tim, it's handy enough as it is. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you, Ashley. What is it? A musketeer came and said to give this to you. Mm -hmm. Well, what does it say? It says I'm not confined to quarters anymore, and I've been assigned to the special squad that was just formed. Oh, so he got, he got punished, but then he got promoted. <laughs> You're in the special squad. Wow, that's great. This is right out of old epics. But do I even deserve this? After all, I did get confined to quarters for insubordination. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Why would they pick me for such an honor? And besides, why was Marina so angry then? I just can't figure it out. Marina was angry? The new special squad, the one everyone was talking about? Hooray, hooray! Here, read this. The chief recommended me. Yippee, I did it, Marina. I did it. All right. H hey, stop. Ouch, that hurts. Ashley. I'm celebrating. This is a happy occasion. Aren't you happy, Marina? No, not at all. Hmm. She's worried about you, bro. This isn't something to jump up and down about. Marina, what are you upset about? Why aren't you happy for me? They picked me over a lot of other people, you know. Yeah, they did pick you. They picked you for a mission that's even more dangerous than before. How can I be happy about that? Arena. See? She's worried about you. After that, Marina didn't say anything to me. We're always together, and sometimes we have fun, but we argue just as much, too. What kind of relationship do I have with Marina anyway? I don't know. The next morning. Congratulations, Ashley. You are something else. You get assigned to the new squad and get the Order of Knighthood. I envy you. Thanks, but to be honest, I still don't believe it myself. Don't sound so wishy-washy. You're a defender of this town now, so shape up, soldier. <laughs> well, anyway, I wonder what's keeping Marina. And here we are, all gathered for a big send-off for Ashley. Where could she be? Hmm. I, th I think it's time to leave for the conferment ceremony. It's at Sword Cathedral, located at the foot of a mountain far to the northwest. Be careful out there, the damage from monsters has been increasing lately. Don't worry, after all, fighting monsters is my job. Yes, you're right. Well, I'll be on my way. Goodbye, everyone. Marina, I'm so glad you came. Me too. I'm sorry about yesterday, I'm happy for you. I don't know why I said those things. It's okay. Anyway, I have to be going now. You're coming back, right? Sure, I'll come right back after the ceremony.
I promise. We'll be waiting for you with a big feast for dinner. Good, I can't wait. Bye, see you soon. Take care. Aw. Sweet. Alright. Now I'm actually, like, out on the map. I guess this is the second time we've been on the map, but... So we can equip guardians. Um, this is going to increase fatality and defense. I'll do that for now, just because it's the only one I have. Alright, so far to the northwest, they said. Which is, like, up here. Yeah, I see where it should be. There's all these little, like, lights where things show up. Yeah. Sword Cathedral. New Night Squad Ceremony. A squad of knights trained in guerrilla tactics was established to fend off terrorists. And increasingly strong, brutal, and fearsome monsters, as well as an unstable world. The Night Squad, organized as a backup for Miriabul, has the advantage of independent authority, allowing it to respond rapidly to a variety of situations. Agile Remote Mission Squad, ARMS. Short for ARMS. The significance of arms' existence lies therein. I am counting on your actions and efforts. Dismissed. Oh, that looks like a cool sword. Hey, isn't that... Yeah, they say it's essential to a formal night ceremony. But it's the first time I've seen it. Those just knighted, blessings will be conferred upon you by the Sword Magus. Try to draw the Guardian Blade, Argetlam. Argetlam, which banished the old blaze. He who thinks he is no hero, go ahead and draw the sword. Here, Sword Magus, show us the birth of a new hero. So, like, everybody tries. Nope. You're wasting my time. There's no way. What'd you say? Since this ceremony first started a hundred or so years ago, no one has ever drawn the sword. Do you understand what this means? It means it's set up from the beginning so it can't be drawn. As a ceremony and as a symbol of power, the sword is meaningless. That may be so. But doesn't someone have to become the hero? It's not possible that it's me. Ever since I was little, I've looked up to the heroes who protected everyone. Is that so strange? The fact that I'm embarrassed means I've really matured. Who cares? It's your turn. Oh, is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna do it? Did I do it? Did he pull the sword? Oh. Once there was a blaze of disaster that stained Filgaia with its crimson flames. The flames from the earth scorched the heavens. The blazing whirlwinds threatened the planet's very future. Mankind clung to their only hope of surviving this life or death crisis. The Sword Magus. And this isn't even the story of the first one, either. Born as the daughter of a nameless petty nobleman, she was drawn to the call of the guardian blade card called Argetlam. With no way to fight, the people cast their hopes on the mage's sword and believed in the future. The night of the seventh day, after obtaining the sword. 
wrapped in a torrent of light, the magus vanished from Filgaia, together with the blaze of disaster. Is that the name of her wolf? The blaze of disaster? Oh no, the blaze, the fire. Leaving behind, Argitlam plunged deep in the earth. Time passed. The guardian blade Argitlam began to be treated as a symbol of power. The battle of the sword magus remained in the hearts of the people as a familiar, ubiquitous legend, but the people had no idea that their familiar legends of the past would have meaning in the present. And in the future. Wild Arms 2 Second Ignition Yay, we got the opening credits in episode, like, four. <laughs> That's how long this game is going to be. <laughs> it's, like, almost two hours in. <laughs> wow, how pompous. Don't do anything to encourage it. <laughs> Even I thought for a second that it might come out. See, we didn't pull it. In the end, no one was able to get the Argit Lom Sword out. Everything is fine like this. The fact that the sword could be retrieved couldn't The fact that the sword could be retrieved means there's some reason for it, right? What do you mean? Whoever retrieves the sword is the hero, right? A hero suddenly appearing means there will be some disturbance needing a hero. You sure have an interesting way of thinking. Well, but it could could, could be true. Everything's fine like this. No one wants war. Yep, true. True, true, true. So what do I do? We're counting on you. Best of luck to you all. Do I just talk to random people or something? For some reason, I'm nervous. There's no reason why I should be nervous, but... The arms emblem being designed now has a watchdog motif. There's something not right. Feels like the national dog. What do you think? Looks like our next mission has not been officially determined yet, but it won't be long before some booming voice calls us. I mean, it all, it's almost guaranteed we'll be assigned to the front line. It's not possible that matter suddenly develops out of nothing without reason, but the monsters just keep multiplying. Where in the world are they all coming from? They're breeding. Heavily. Hey, are you having fun yet, Ashley? Yes, Commander. If you got a bit wild, I'll look the other way today. You'll be busy enough soon. Have fun while you can. But I don't want to hear any complaints later on that we never get days off. I understand, sir. We're affiliated with Mary Abul, but it won't stay that way forever. The new reforms go beyond national boundaries to international peacekeeping activities. We have to make sure that ARMS isn't involved in anything shameful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're the one I'm most worried about. S sorry. Oh, never mind. More importantly, there's a lot of good food here. Eat and enjoy yourself today. Remember, tomorrow it's back to the front. Roger. Uh-oh. Hey, what's that? Whoa. That's so cool looking. Some of the special effects in this game are so, so freaking cool. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Oh, I remember this now. Yeah, they, they're all turning into monsters. What kind of a joke is this, huh? Orders, please. Someone, please give us our orders. Calm down. First things first, we have to get out of here. We're going to blast through the front gate. Everybody get out. <laughs> Ashley's the only one running like, Oh my god, oh my god. Get out of here, get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> get me out, get me out. <laughs> The 
door is securely shut. Hey, hey! Ooh, that's not good. Ugh. What? What is it? What's going on? I don't like it. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. If that's the case, you have to survive. Tear the others apart, and if you're the last one standing, there's no problem. I can't possibly do that. Besides, that monster was originally human. He was a friend. Is it fear, or is it just hesitation? All right, wipe them all out. I will grant you power. Huh? Who, who are you? Who speaks in my heart? Me? I am you. Soon I'll be me. It'll be none other than you. Ah! Uh, uh, sorry, Marina. All right. Okay. <laughs> I just, like, destroyed that guy. Okay, so we can fight all these guys. I'm not going to try to fight all of them, but I just want to try the door over there. Am I able to fight? Okay, I don't have any force abilities, so it's just literally physical attacks. Hmm. At least they're not hard. Oh, and they can't hurt me. Okay. I'm the special one. Mm -hmm. Uncontrollable? I was like one hit, like one HP from killing him. Because the other one died in one hit to 70 and then I hit it for 69. Oh, and I just leveled up again, okay. Alright, so that took out that one. The gate is securely shut. So I can avoid these guys. I can't avoid the one at the door, but I can avoid most of them. Which is what I'm going to try to do. Because I don't want to make this take too long. But once we finish this part, I should be ready to end the episode here. We're getting a lot of experience for him, though. That's fine. I'll be able to get experience later. Like, not too worried about it. Oh yeah, the mirror. These hands, these legs, and this body. Is this me? Can't I change back? Is it inevitable that my body will turn to dust like that monster's body? Will I ever go home again? Oh. Oh, he... <laughs> as soon as I walked in the door, dang it. But I think I walked in the wrong door. I think I'm in the wrong place. I need to go back to the ceremony room. Oh, critical hit. Okay. 22. Okay. But the only reason why I wasn't max health is because I had leveled up. Wow, so much experience. 60 is a lot. For this part of the game. I think it's it's probably because I only have one character right now. Like, when you get the other two characters, it kind of splits it amongst you. You also fight a lot more monsters at one time, too. I think the monster groups can get to about, like, four or five. But I'm not sure. Uncontrollable. Kilimanjaro. Double kill. <laughs> Unfreaking believable. I can't run like this, which kind of sucks. All right, let me. Uh, they have such a wide hitbox. I guess I'm fighting a lot of these guys anyway, even though I wasn't really trying to. That's okay, maybe we'll get to level 5 before we get out of here, who knows. Yep, there's level 5. Alright. Ashley's gonna be a bit ahead, which I'm not mad about. And you get those PS points for those for the special skills. 
every time you level up anyway. There was one and I didn't even see him. Yeah, you get those PS points um, for leveling up. Like, you get one for every level. So the more I level up, the closer I am to filling up some of those special skills. Alright. What is this? Oh, this is like lore. I don't need that. I think I just need to go through the door with the guy standing there. But let's see what's in here. Oh, just a save point. Hmm. Actually, yeah. Let's do that. I'm gonna save right now. Because this is already getting a little bit longer. Um... And then we'll finish this up next time. See ya. Alright, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that right up here. And um, if you want to watch a random video from the channel, you can do that right up here. And then I'll put a link to my Discord down at the bottom here. So thank you all so much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!